I keep forgetting to write this thing. Hey. Hey, y'all. Thank you. fresh when it gets to you right so in that part i can't really do better but in another part of like because I, I find myself being repetitious so how can i do better um how can i let it be known that i don't check dms oh i can put it in my bio i can put it in my bio that i do not check dms the email me only i have my email up there but i don't think people realize that no dms just email i don't think people realize that so I could put that in my um in my bio. Let's see what else I could do. I don't know. You guys tell me. I guess I I thought that I kind of named the teas what the problem was like kidney kidney kindness, but obviously it's still kind of tricky for some people. So I mean, if anybody have any suggestions <laughs> on how to make the goddess collection more proficient in a sense where I'm not being redundant um definitely reach out to me and email i had a lady email me about a logo and she just sold herself i wasn't i was looking for a logo but i didn't reach out to anybody and this woman was so dope like she sent me a few she was like hey i don't know if you're looking for a logo but here's here's what i do and here's my thing and i was just so impressed and we actually went with her logo so we have a new website coming because we tired of the ratchet shit we tired of the website missing fucking orders for instance say for instance you put items in your cart on april 25th and you don't pay for it until march 2nd that motherfucker go back to april 25th and if we're done april 25th orders we never see it so mind you weeks later you reach out and like hey i seen you done the 25th uh orders already i never received mine we never see so we gotta go back for your order so we done we done with the website we had um the website that we had we had our own server and we thought that having our own server was just this big old wonderful thing but it's like renting a house and owning a house you get your landlord to work on it if you rent it and you have to find your own people if you buy it and at this point in time i'd rather rent it because i like shopify i like how you could go into shopify and they put your little information right up because we have so many dogs. Let me tell you, at the start of the Goddess Collection morning, because we start at 8.30, we can't even start. 
I have to go through all of the emails that I went through the previous night and you got about, I say out of 100, 100 emails, you have maybe about 52, I'm just, I'm just throwing weird numbers, none of this is accurate, 52 people who, who address is inaccurate. Unreal, I have never, you know, it could be tiring, but I have to keep my strength. I have never in my life seen where people have forgotten and uh, are all together have not, the, the address is incorrect. Or you have people, I, I say maybe the majority of it is people inquiring about when their order is going to go out, which is understandable because we are a hundred light years behind. So I guess that's cool. They don't kind of look at the website for updates, how we have it. And then you have some people who still don't play. I say, hey, you know, we running behind. Check the website for updates. And they're going to keep emailing me every week. They say, fuck checking that website, bitch. I want to hear what you got to say. <laughs> so I'm, I'm talking to the same people. I'm just like, oh, my God. And they got a lot of people who, you know, want to change this or change that. That's why we stop on. Um, come on, phone, because I feel like you be hating on me when I'm on live. That's why we stopped adding on orders because it just kept pushing us further and further and further behind. So that's what that that that's a lot of the issues we have. And so we start off with that. That takes at least like an hour because then I gotta give it to my mom and she gotta correct addresses. It's 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 craziness. So we just gotta, I don't know. We just got to get Shopify, which I'm, I want to go with the, their little system. I think that they're totally better. They have a good base. And then I just I just want to get to the point where all this is smooth sailing. I took off kind of overnight. I think in the, in the midst of that, I had a baby. And then, you know, it just get first. Hannah and I had Divine, which I love, and I don't regret. I could work 8 to 9, 8 in the morning till 9 p.m. I could work. Fucking 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., but not with no baby. Not with no baby, and then a five-year-old, and then a 15-year-old. Because don't think because they're 15 that they don't require that much time because she still got to get love and understanding and conversation or she's going to go find it somewhere else. And especially because I'm a single mother, I have to be sure that they get, they all get the proper amount of time. So <clears throat> we got a few things on going on, but... I'm telling y'all, uh, the future of the Goddess Collection is going to be a beautiful thing. We're going to have multiple babies and people healing themselves. And sticking with me now means a lot to me. I will not forget that. I will not forget it. I, trust me. And I swear, once we finally catch up, I'm going to have an appreciation sale, which is going to make us just further behind. I know. I'm going to kind of make sure maybe I can hire a few people to kind of keep up with it or whatever. But... I mean, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all, like, understanding me mother to mother and just knowing me personally. Like, that's what I love. Because I really love y'all, too. So, uh, I would give up. I keep telling my mom, I guess the fuck what? <laughs> she be laughing. I say, mom, fuck all this. <laughs> Let's just fucking sell baby boom. <laughs> I said, we are sure. Fuck that. Because I just, there are days when I'm tired and I see her strength. And I'm like, girl, they got a bigger picture, Crystal. It's going to be okay. You just got to keep doing what you was put here to do. Because if you didn't have the strength to do it, they wouldn't have given you such a job. So just keep on, motherfucker. And I just keep on. But I swear, sometimes I just want to turn this into a straight baby boom fucking goddess collection. You get some baby boom, you get some shea butter, and you're going your fucking way on the real real. But... Anyway, so I love y'all. I want y'all to know that. That's why I just be trying to stay all over the place, you know. That's why I try to be as professional as I can. And, you know, don't curse nobody out in my email because they be rude as a motherfucker. And I'm going to get to where we going. I'm going to start the live. But I'm just going through that because, you know, y'all my friends. But anyway, oh, they be so rude. Oh, God, I be wanting to say, girl, guess what? Fuck, you know. <laughs> but you can't. You can't. You just got to be like, you know. I'm sorry. What more can I do? I mean, if you want your refund, take your refund. In the process of me refunding you, I do block your IP so you can't never order from me again. Because if you can't struggle with a nigga when they're down and they orders four weeks you're behind, you can't you can't order from me when we shipping them out three to five days, baby. That's how I feel. You couldn't rock with me, then you're gone. I do. I do. And all them people who file them PayPal disputes because you, you can't wait. 
We ain't stole your money because I ain't stole never nobody money, okay? So you're doing it because you can't wait and you file your little pay. It's been three weeks and then they say the answer inside of the complaint. And I know it's corona and the world about to end, but I don't give a fuck. Okay, well get your money back, sis. And you can't never buy it from me again. I'm sure they got somebody else who could get it to you three to five days who, who on that level. And good, I'm so happy for them. And I'm happy for you that you could get what you want and they got what you need, okay? So <laughs> let's get into the lie. Um, so yesterday I was talking about blood types. And Harmony was going a little crazy. She was at, as that, but that's Harmony. Oh, my Harmony, my little Harmony. She want attention so bad. She just do. I ain't gonna lie. I can't wait to find me, and I'm about to get to the live. I can't wait to find me a six foot three, six foot eight, big old nigga, okay? <laughs> big old king, Lord, who just my everything. Oh, my God. And we just be a happy little family because she need to be tossed and dossed up. I mean, I feel, you know, sometimes I feel like, and I swear I'm going to get on with the lie, that the people who are chosen to do certain things in high places be single. Do they feel like me being with somebody is going to distract me from my mission? Because I'm, I'm just, okay. But anyway, so back to, <laughs> back to the lie, to the lie. So I was talking about blood types. So the importance of blood types is crucial, right? And we know this because your own body begins to reject an offspring that does not match the blood type that, oh, if the blood type does not match your blood type. And I gave the example yesterday. If they're A and you're B and the baby that comes inside you is A, which carries the father's blood type, that means that your body would thus try to fight or eliminate causing a miscarriage of the child that you're holding because the body sees it as a foreign entity because it does not share the same blood as you. That's how important having the same blood type is. Remember my point in saying this is not racist because it's very difficult to speak on these type of things because people think that you're being racist. It's not about being racist. It's about understanding that we are all the human race, you know, and we love everybody. But everybody has a completely different genetic code. And at one time, you had black people, melanated people who were a certain blood type, white people who were a certain blood type, Hispanics, uh, Chinese people. Everybody carried their own blood type. Now, because we have mixed those together, that's why you have, say, a black person with blood type A. Long time ago, way long time ago, before there was any mixing, the blood type for the African-American person was usually O, okay? And then Chinese A, B, and blah, 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 like that. That's why in certain cultures, if you marry outside of your race, they would disown you because they would feel as though you're mixing two things that did not belong. But it wasn't just a thought that humans had. Your body felt the same way because that's like I just made the example your body would try to fight off a baby that did not share the same blood type as you. And even before, I think it's 1950, you had, you could not get a license to marry if you did not have the same blood type. And this was to prevent the mother from bleeding to death after birth, her body having complete miscarriages, and things such as that. Because each time the woman would get pregnant, her body would say, damn, we had this infection before. So let's send stronger antibodies to kill this baby. Well, they don't know it's a baby. To kill this infection because last time we sent that other stuff in, it didn't do nothing. So they send stronger stuff. And each time you get pregnant, it's stronger and stronger and stronger. And this is why some women have to get what you call the Rogam shot. Now, if you have a different blood type from old dude, from your, your lover or whatever, your husband, how can I put it? The women who did not get the Rogam shot, who wanted to go an herbal way, did that uh, divine iron throughout their pregnancy. I have dealt with so many cases where the woman was O negative and could not carry any baby because O negative cannot, 
you have a a way harder chance of having a baby oh negative because that not only means that your blood type is completely different from everybody else that means that you're negative for the rhesus monkey gene now you go into some deep shit if you want to know how we was mixed with rhesus monkey you know that's for you to do on your own time because if we went there half of you motherfuckers would unfollow me because some truth is just too much to bear for somebody who's who doesn't have every single part of their mind open or willing to open it or to accept different things. So sometimes that truth can seem stranger than fiction and you, you just can't bear it. And some, some of those things are not meant for me to give. Some of those things I can only spark it into your mind for you to make the choice to decide whether this is something you want to go forward with. Just like with this um, virus situation. You know, I got in the midst of posting about G5 and vaccines and all of that shit. But then I said to myself, it's always going to be this battle. Always going to be the people who are thinking a certain way. And then these people thinking a certain way. And everybody's just going to go crazy. It's just going to be a uh, energy that's chaotic. Because you should wear a mask to save our lives. I'm not wearing a mask because it's my freedom. It, it You know? It's, it's trying to tear us apart purposely. So all I can do is try to do it in the ways that I do. Well, let me make a little quick mimic that's going to be a joke. So then in the midst of you laughing about it, you may say, well, fuck, that make a lot of sense. Let me go on and see. Because I see some of my brothers and sisters getting lost and posting, cashless society, we're going to die. And I feel that shit. I really do because in a sense, you're trying to wake people up. But everybody can't handle things in a certain way. So you have to know how to put it out there minutely and let people pick what they need to pick. And whoever meant to see what they meant to see, going to see. And who not, not. So that's just the way it's going to be. Because I talk about all of this stuff and then you still have women who think I'm trying to judge them. When they have no idea that I couldn't care less what you did. I wouldn't, I don't give no fucks. Zero. Under the bridge, above the bridge, in the water, I don't give no fucks. I swear to God, you don't even know. I care nothing about the makeup on your face. I care nothing about the fact that you want to eat ham hocks and chicken legs. If it look good enough, bitch, I'm going to like the status. I swear to God, and I don't even eat it. But you can't say to me, because on my platform, I'm telling women, hey, guess what? Henna comes from the earth. But the henna they giving you has heavy metals on it. So be wise when you put them henna tattoos on your belly while you're pregnant. This is my motherfucking page. That's my truth. And that's my information that I give to women who are seeking it out. So if you're not sick, don't go to the doctor. If you feel like I'm judging you because you wear lipstick and I tell you lipstick got mercury in it, it's not the page for you because I could give a care less about what individually you do with this information. But there are some women who have no idea that lipstick has mercury in it. And they're just wondering why the fuck they can't have a baby. So it's for crystal alkaline motherfucking doula, as lame as y'all may think that name is, to come and bring that information to women who may want to know it. So if it's not the place for you because you feel like this is just a judgmental throne, then, I mean, step which either way you choose. Anyway. Because I'm not the one to judge. I have a past beyond this world. And I'm actually writing a... Well, I'm not writing it right now. But I'm going to write a book. And you motherfuckers are going to be astounded. <laughs> and they're not going to have no lies in there. I swear to God. They have a new person who worked for us. And she don't want to be named right now. For reasons that she could keep... You know, keep it to us in between us. And I just went to telling her my story. You know what this girl said? She said, bitch, <laughs> if this was an HBO show, I would watch this motherfucker. I said, can you believe it? <laughs> can you believe it? And I said, that's why when I tell these women, it don't matter where you come from, it's where you're going. It matter where you come from in a sense, because when you get where, you, where you're going and you done done all you had to do, then you can look back and realize, my God, <laughs> like I have been tried through the motherfucking fire but look at this masterpiece in front of me like that's that's beautiful you know what i'm saying so 
I can't wait. I want to put it all in a book because I know you niggas is going to be like, what the fuck? Oh, I love it. And I'm not ashamed about a piece of it. I'm not ashamed about a piece of it. Oh, I love it. All. Not one piece of it. Not one piece of it. That's why I'm just, girl. But anyway, okay. <laughs> Back to the HR factor. So with the HR factor, that means Reese's monkey. How do we get the Reese's monkey gene? That's for you to go discover on your own time. So if a if a African American woman is O negative, meaning she holds what you would call the original blood type for a melanated bean, and then she is negative for rhesus monkey, meaning that she doesn't hold the rhesus monkey trait. Her blood type is extremely pure. And that means that if she tries to get pregnant for almost anybody, she's not going to be able to have the baby. <clears throat> Except in ways like um, the Rogram shot or <clears throat> the Rogram shot or like I said, the Divine Iron, if you want to go a herbal way, right? So she can't get pregnant for a, a, a negative or a positive person. It doesn't work that way. And then I was also making a point of when you get a blood transfusion. I am not telling anybody not to get a blood transfusion. All of this is for entertainment purposes only. Everything that I'm saying to you. All I'm telling you is your body is very uh, intelligent and it carries information. Genetic information, cellular information, information just like a computer would. So when you get the blood of another person, although it may match your blood type, this basically your body knows that it is not your blood. Just like if you get a kidney transplant, your kin, your your body's like, bitch, whose kidneys is this? Like, this is not my motherfucking kidney. a kidney in, inside of me. So they have to give you the antibiotics in order for your body not to fight off the kidney because it knows it's a foreign object. So the best route you could go is taking care of yourself as much as you can in order not to get in those positions. Because once you're there, you're there. I didn't have surgery. I had a, a hernia, umbilical hernia, fucking tonsils removed. Niggas took my tonsils. They always saying that something in your body don't need to be there. And, and when I think of that shit, it make me so angry. Either you severely ignorant. You know, y'all want to listen to everything they say. But are these the same people telling you that parts in your body, some of the teeth that you have, Fuck it. <laughs> Girl, that don't need to be. Do that shit to a car. Say, oh, you don't even, you don't need that engine, girl. <laughs> the engine just there cause, cause just to be there. Like, why do you hold yourself lower than everything else in the fucking world? You don't see them doing that shit to dogs. So <laughs> we just gonna take that nigga kidney out. He don't need it. No. You make him function without it. But don't ever say you don't need it. That's a motherfucking joke. That's a joke. So stop letting people tell you things and just because you think they have a higher level of intelligence because they went to a education system, you know, that were handed to you by people who don't even like you, who aren't even for you, then, you know, I mean, even with myself, go, go and see. Well, she said this, but let me go check it. Go check it out, please. You know, I want, I'm not trying to get you all to do what I say. I'm trying to get you all to think. I keep saying that. I don't know how many times I have to say it. I'm trying to get you to think because once you get that little fucking spark, like a fire, you like the little fire, it be low, you know, it'll be low, but then it gets fed by the wind and what happened? It begins to grow. So that's what I'm doing inside of your mind. I'm giving you that spark. So that once you question this, you question that, and you go and get your own information. And then you say, okay, well, this and this makes sense, blah, 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 blah. And that's when you start unbreaking the fucking chains that your mind is in. Because just like the point I made yesterday, you got a lot of people walking around that's unconscious. And I'm not talking about, oh, you awake, you part of the conscious community. I'm talking about the conscious when you're in the hospital and you're laying there unconscious. Some of y'all are walking around like that today. Don't know nothing. Just probe me too. I was like that. Just, uh, that's what they told you. You don't question it. You don't even have time to think about it. But anyway. I'm going to have to uh, 
give these milk titties to um you have to email her she doesn't have a messenger i am burning a pillow stick i'm not saying it right because of my accent from new orleans and because of my english i guess whatever i swear to god you would think i was from outer space pillow stick but yeah these are very amazing this is sage i mean we talking about oh lord let me try not to get frustrated so we got sage that is proven because you need to be proven right because they don't want to do the studies on that type of shit that is proven to disinfect the air yeah we're we, we so drastic we so drastic uh, wear this and do that and it's gonna get you you know and we have sage that has been proven to disinfect the air and disinfect negative ions which is negative energy so this is a play stick which does the same which does the same oh and i'm obsessed with them i just be sniffing it which oh my god it's not too good but whatever all right so i'm thirsty but y'all have any questions for me because I my breast just filled up and so the baby should be coming to get some milk in a second, which I should be able to pop it out. Who are y'all telling to email? Okay, thanks. What's her email address? So my email address is in my bio. Hell yeah, I'm mad they got my tonsils out. And girl, I used to be able to sing, not good, but like a 7.5. And after I got my tonsils removed, it went to like a 5.5. I used to be able to at least go to her, you know, and it just went away. <laughs> For real. Hell yeah. Um, so, oh, Lord. Any questions for me? Because they, they have a lot. Well, y'all can think for a second because I'm thirsty. Give me a second. Oh, oh. Baby, I don't think this dress don't fit. So, just a little time around my little waist to give me. Guess what? I ain't got time to play those games. Mm-hmm. fluid retention okay so janine you say the best herbs at for fluid retention but first of all what's causing the fluid buildup because i'm i want to start i want to okay you can be a customer for life if you get an immunity herbs like herbs just to nourish yourself you know your divine iron your golden goddess your baby boom you know you're nourishing your body that's cool i don't want you on fiber or fighter for 75 years Okay, that, this is not my goal here. So we want to talk about retaining fluid. You have too much salt in the body. Too much salt and too much sugar. I want you all to start addressing y'all diets. I, I'm, I'm going to beat y'all up. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling y'all because I really love y'all. And I'm a badass salesman. Because I tell you niggas nothing about diet. Just buy, buy, buy my product. No, let's start eating right if you never found a time to start eating better, it would definitely be now. Okay, so fluid in the retina. So that can be actually caused by contacts and makeup. The little eyeliner that you put right there. I had one girl say, you know what? You was telling me about the makeup, and when I stopped wearing it, I could see better. So everything that you put on the skin, remember your body eats it. So you want to... I'm sorry, I'm reading and trying to... You want to make sure, you know, you love sugar. No, you don't love sugar. Then parasites love sugar. They ain't nothing about it. Let me tell y'all. You know, you follow the doctor saving diet, right? But at the very least, for your blood type, you should know what foods do what. For an African or melanated person, sugar does absolutely nothing. I don't give a fuck if it's maple. I don't give a fuck if it's day sugar. I don't give a fuck if it's uh, maple syrup. Sugar does, it has no benefits. It's neutral. If you look at the food charts for blood, O, blood, A, because we're all genetically different, right? Stop stop thinking that a melanated being could go eat Chinese food, Italian food, Mexican food. Damn, your stomach don't even know what the fuck all that is. You're going to eat foods that's designed for your genetic makeup, and you can see that. You, you, you can tell it's not a lie. You got the Asian community who has a diet high in soy or soybeans. But do their women have a high rate of fibroids? No. But let your black ass go eat a lot of soy and you're going to have cysts and PCOS, fibroids, and estrogen dominant diseases. You cannot feel like 
all of us collectively can eat the same shit. It doesn't work that way. So you have to, you got to understand, black women, preeclampsia while they're pregnant, this and this and that, white women, one or two problems. First of all, she doesn't eat like you do. You know, you don't see her eating fried chicken in a Reese's cup and all of that while she's pregnant. You, you really don't. And then secondly, her body is designed to be able to eat certain foods that you cannot. As a melanated being, you don't even eat, I would say, half of the things you're supposed to be eating. You're eating everybody else's food, and that's going to cause us to have the highest rate of heart disease, the highest rate of diabetes, the highest rate of low iron. That's you. That's not nobody else. Because you're not eating the proper foods. Why? I keep saying, the body is self-healing. If I scratch my face, it's going to heal up. And a scab gonna come over it. But if I pour salt in it or I keep playing with it, it'll never heal. So that's what you do to your body when you continue to eat foods that are not designed for you or foods that are just killing you. The body's trying to heal, but you keep dumping the same poison into an open wound and it's never going to correct itself. It has the ability to do it all on its own and herbs to assist you like a band-aid. You might put the band-aid on it because you don't want to keep scratching it open. You don't want shit to touch it. This is what you do. But you have to understand that the root of it is because of what you put inside of your body and what you put on your body and into your hair. Your hair. Okay? All bladder issues and it's suggestion. Oh, I love water. For the gallbladder, <laughs> you can use the kidney kindness. What's good for pelvic inflammatory disease? The yani infection wipe out. And this is why, this is another thing. You know, I have women who email me. You know, I, I have chronic BV. Ain't no motherfucking way. Stop letting people make you think that that's normal. Stop letting people, all oh, the slightest things mess up my pH balance. No, 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 no. I don't fucking think so. You cannot use, I don't even want to name these big companies soap and say the slightest thing. Have you read those motherfucking ingredients, bitch? That ain't the slightest thing. That is not, that ain't even considered the slightest thing. Shea butter is the slightest thing. That didn't throw off your pH balance. You can't say Popeye's chicken is the slightest thing. Y'all using words incorrectly. You can't go put a hair dye in your hair with um fucking chemicals that will destroy your plant in 10 seconds and say, girl, my hair sensitive. Anything I put on this motherfucker break it out. Look what you using. You can't put bleach in your fucking hair and expect it not. Oh, I guess if you use a proper conditioner, what are we doing? So... Stop referring to that as something normal. The slightest thing mess up your pH balance. No, sis. The wrong thing mess up your pH balance. The harshest chemicals mess up your pH balance. Vinegar, distilled vinegar, apple cider vinegar uh, destroys your pH balance because you are playing with them destroying. Anything you use shouldn't destroy both good bacteria and bad bacteria. Now you're going savage. Now you're going savage when there was a better way. You should not be using stuff to kill everything. That's barbaric. That's what I said before. I wouldn't go blow up a whole town because I'm looking for one man. I know a country that would do that, but I'm just using that as an example as being barbaric. So you're not going to say, oh, you got cancer cells in your body. Let's radiate the whole bitch. She going to lose her hair. There has to be a better way. You have to realize there's a better way. I'm tired of hearing y'all, well, I had to do, you know, I had a lady fucking email me the other day and say that they gave her, her grandpa who had lung cancer, a radiation shot in his veins. And I swear, I have just heard it all. I have heard it all because now I'm really, I'm, I'm understanding that you, the, the American healthcare system should literally be called the American experiment on your fucking ass system. That's what it should be because 
how the fuck we alive? I I don't know. I I really just don't know. It, it's it's weird. I I ain't never seen no shit like this in my life. So what I'm saying is, there are better ways. There are better ways. He could have simply rested, drunk plenty of water, took some onion soup, purple onion, because that's the only onion that I advocate for. But y'all have to understand that food has healing properties too. You're not just eating to eat. You're eating to replenish because remember, your body already makes the minerals. That's what you're failing to realize. Where does B12 come from? Here, all in there. Where do you get your iron? Here, everything that your body needs, your body makes it, right? So it's when you are in a savage ass world where your skies are dirty and your water is polluted, your water radiated, your water got chlorine, your toothpaste, all this poisonous shit. Then that's when it starts depleting the body. Then we have to eat for nutrition at the very least and especially take our herbs. Because now we, we at war. I'm not under, I don't know what you not getting, but we've been at war a long motherfucking time ago. And some of us are just waking up to understand that the way things are going, this this not some real, this not some good shit. So you are at war. When you understand that, then you can look at shit and say, wow, this is why you would put some fucking cancer in baby powder. And yet you raggedy ass niggas go back and say, well, it ain't in the shampoo. I be a what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse my French. Why in the fuck? If there is a product that is for babies that have given people cancer, you go back and use the fucking product line, just not the baby product. You got to be a slave. Your mind has to be in a sunken place. Oh, Lord, it just came to me. It just came to me like that. Lord, <laughs> it has to be. It has to be in a, in a very, a place where we don't have understanding. Because for us to, you know, oh, they, they came out and said a weed killer caused cancer. But you won't go get another pesticide. What the fuck you not getting? What you not getting? You you know, they they use you to do the dirty work. They make the product and you go outside and you spray the dandelion leaves, which is excellent for melanated motherfucking people. Do you know how important dandelion Dandelion greens, dandelion flower, dandelion root is to a person who has brown fucking skin, but yet they forced you. They didn't even do it. The, who the karma gonna come back on? When when Mother Earth look around and she wonders who the fuck is destroying her planet, it's gonna be you. She ain't gonna say who made it. She gonna be looking at the person who perished for the lack of knowledge, killing her fucking rich iron dandelion green. They make you do the dirty work and then they blame it on your duck ass. They invent the cars that have all of the, the, the nasty smoke in the air, depleting the, the fucking good oxygen, and blame it on you, duckhead. Oh, they got too many humans on the earth. Y'all trashing the earth? Nah, nigga. It's all this fucking pollution and this and that and that. But then they make you feel guilty, and it's like your fault. It's just, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. You got to wake up. Wake up. Mm-mm. If you want to be somebody... And you want to go somewhere. <laughs> you better wake up and pay attention. Now all you motherfuckers should know that came from Sister Egg. One of my favorite movies. <laughs> I used to love that shit. Okay. Oh happy day. Oh happy day. Boy, that boy said when Jesus. <laughs> okay, for real though. <laughs> On the real. True. And you, you gotta wake up and pay attention. Because if you sleep, we at walk. You gonna get got. And that's what's happening to a lot of you niggas. The earth is purging. And they help the purge with their fake ass irises going around. You know, they working with the universe. Purging. Anybody who sprayed her little dandelion roots, <laughs> fuck. You heard me? Anybody who knew they was doing something wrong and say, I'm just doing my job. Well, guess what? She just doing her motherfucking job. Okay? You got to understand they got two ways that the pendulum swing. And if y'all don't get that, I'll be trying to give y'all a few spiritual messages, but I know I'm here just to be the medicine woman. But I need y'all to understand that they all interconnected. Please do. You can't have one without the other. All of that determines your salvation. All of it. Where your mind at, where your soul at, where your body at. Come on, man. What you doing in your free time? I hope not watching Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> okay? But anyway, 
So you got a lot of women who come and they're like, oh, my pH balance, I'm so sensitive, you know. And they may say the magical word. They ain't even need me. They say the magical word. Every time I have sex with him, I get BB. <laughs> Sis, <laughs> not not. <laughs> goose, ducky, goose. Well, bitch, I would assume it's him. <laughs> okay. And I, I be fucking with y'all. You know, I'm not being harsh on y'all. I love y'all. You know, we just playing around. But at the end of the day, sis, you you feel me? If if it you know you, you get a yeast infection every time you fuck her, sis. <laughs> That's like every time if I eat popcorn, my nose swell up. I'ma think it's the popcorn. I'm catching the reaction from the popcorn. Clean this nigga sperm. You got to. You know, I had one woman reach out to me, and she was saying. She had a, a discharge that was a certain color and her pussy was irritated and, you know, it just wouldn't go away. And, you know, I always get the little thoughts. I'm a, I don't know what I am. I'm just a woman who gets thoughts. And, and it told me she was still having sex. And I, and I replied, I said, are you still having sex? And she said, yes. So we have to understand that when the vagina or any part of the body is sick, we have to stop doing what we're doing in order for it to heal. So because she had a certain discharge and a yeast infection that wouldn't go away, she didn't assume that having sex with him, first of all, that would hurt my pussy so much. <laughs> but anyway, she didn't realize that still having sex with this dude, they just giving it back. We I don't know why they have brainwashed us to believe the only thing he can give us is the STD. I keep saying that, listen, new followers, new followers. This is what I'm telling you. He could get all that. He could carry it on his dingling. He sure can. The yeast infection, it ain't gonna live as long as yours will because you got a you got a closed place. And he got, you know, here's this hang up in the air. But guarantee you, he can still be giving it back and forth to you. Not just an STD, honey bun. All of it. Your pH being thrown off, yeast infections, your pussy stinking after y'all have sex, all of that. That's him, baby. I'm not saying you don't got no part in it, but you got to kind of check that situation first to make sure that your pussy good and his little penis is good because it's, it's too much trash. It's too much trash going in there. Your, your cat is not a dumpster. It's not, it's not a dumpster site. You know, caution. Alkaline, alkaline sperm only. Alkaline dick only. Put them drawers on your pussy. Write it, write it in your hair, shave it in your hair. Alkaline sperm only, <laughs> okay? For real, because it's not fair to you that he get to do whatever he want. You can give me my baby if she hungry. You get to do, hey mama. Oh Lord, no more cursing for me. That's right, <laughs> hey guys. Okay, um, no young, oh. Cute, look how cute. Thank you, girl. You're not know, getting dressed up for my friends, girl. Yes, okay. Absolutely. Okay. So they had it, but this is all I had. Wait, that's today? Yes, that's yes. seven. Seven of oh. them. That's seven on um, cases. Did they make you wear a mask? Hell, goddamn no. Okay. No. Because if they would have, <laughs> I would have said, mama. Okay. no. <laughs> okay, they not telling the truth. They anyway, say, hey, mama. Hey. Yeah. I look <laughs> a mess. You can't. You know what I'm saying? No, with my 1980s, my 1980s hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> my hey, girl. Hairstyle. I thought she was harmony. I mean, no, not only. I can only, <laughs> wish, I can only wish to look that young. Okay. I mean, um. Hi, guys. Divine. Oh, she with across, my breast fitted. Look, up, huh? she across the street looking. Oh, <laughs> Miss Evie. No. I could tell her to come on if it's filling up. Well, I mean, if she hungry. Oh, I'll I love answer. my milk titties so much. I don't always tell you about it. Oh, <laughs> Lord, I love the fact that they just fill with milk and I get the feed my baby. Oh, I be so obsessed. I know it's kind of weird, but it's, it's that, not weird. I it's think that it's that love and attachment and the way it feels when I'm just holding her and know that I'm just nurturing her and they just so full of milk and I just it's, be like, yes! Yeah. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. It's and like that's that. why when the breast is everywhere, they mean nothing to me. Right. It's just the fact that I just know these just gonna nurture her till she just strong and healthy. Lord, I'll be so fucked up. <laughs> and that's a good thing because guess what? If people would have said that like years ago, even now, mm -hmm. to make people feel like 
That's what they're there for, to be enthused and be happy about it. And nobody will be buying Similac. That's killing everybody. We're gonna killing the children's brains. We're gonna but that's beautiful. Oh, my oh, God. That's it. so beautiful. The breath. I'm mean, like, milk titties, milk titties. I know. Let me go see if she can get some milk titties. <laughs> okay. So you can get back to the get back. Oh, okay. man. So I'm going to put this up. and um, Girl, if only we could show them what we do every day. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> we need a reality show we get show that, with that uh, camera in there. Oh, my God. Oh, that is going to be nice. All day long. Then they're going to be like, damn, this nigga 12 years of sleep. <laughs> but it's fun. It is. There's really we no comparison with that. But um, hopefully we can catch up as soon as possible. Girl. Um, you know, it's, I just feel like we need like three more. Because he wants just to get for, like, caught two weeks. Out, Right. Then I could talk to them how I want to. <laughs> how do, how do then you I could go off. Right. Like, look, baby. Okay, your order two days ago. It went out yesterday. Ah! <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm sure. That way can. we could be perfectionists. I, like, just, I just feel sometimes if we could actually work like almost 20 hours. Just to get it the done. Big, the big, the big. Right, right. I understand that. But I wish I among the few of us, which is what? Three people. I know. That's not even enough people. And Destiny, though. Well, you two, though. You and, amazing. Oh, you girl, do. Stop. And, and That's it, so like, sweet. it bothers stop me it. sometimes when I'm like, how could you be girl, that strong? Because I'm your mother, okay? Because I'm Louise Ferran oh. and Barry Cousins' daughter. Okay. Oh my. I love you, girl. Y'all amazing. <laughs> For real. Y'all all. Oh, and I, you I amazing. just love it. You amazing. I don't know what I would do. Yes, you do. <laughs> but I'm glad you I not come and rescue. Oh, my God. That's what I we're supposed you, to do. You I think know. that I've been born all this? And you don't never earth? show weakness. Huh? You don't never show me that you're tired. I want you to take a day off. Let me ask you this. I do. When me. there's a king and a queen over a country. Do you ever see any weakness? Do they ever show it? No. Exactly. Well, I'll be looking. I'll be all in your yeah, face. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm tired. No, no, no. And then I, I when, like, when it's a rough day and I'm about to tell you about the emails, I'm like, oh, it's no. Right. It's, it's right. on. But take a day off. No, because we have to get caught up. Once we get caught up, then I'll take a day off. Otherwise, no. If we can get one or two more people up in here that just can help for two weeks, then and only then I would feel good about taking off a day but and then, then we'll be time, caught up. Look what happened when we try to get when you try to get somebody. Never come back. They'd be like, "Oh, I gotta do this." I'm like, "Damn!" Not even come back. You, you know, it'd it, be crazy. It's, it's a like crazy say, time, though. Right. You you I say you come in and then you don't come and then if you do yeah, come, they look, they're, 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 they got a lot going on universally. And I just think everybody's having their own struggle. Like, not even a struggle, but that right now it's just that tug of war to see who come out. This would be the first time I would say it's going to be survival of the fittest. Oh, absolutely. And only the strong will survive. And absolutely. I used to never say that. But if any time showed me that, we in that time right we now. Because this will break you. And I'm a strong nigga. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be like... Is we really can't go outside? <laughs> is I really a nigga slave? <laughs> okay, like, is this really taking place? Yes. You know, I mean, God, but you have to stay focused. Absolutely. But to me, this time is no different than any other time if you're on your right path. That's right. It, it, it really isn't because you prepare for the times like this, you know? Yeah, girl. Expect the worst, but hope for the better. <sighs> And All right, wait. To oh, wait. oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I forgot you were alive. Oh, okay. God. Sorry, guys. So where we go? Let me go see if the girl. Well, bye. Bye. All right, bye, y'all. I mean, bye, my love you. Okay. Love All you right, too. where we at, y'all? My bad. I done lost a few people. They like, look, bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Watch your mouth. They like, we ain't get on here to hear this. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sis, but you want to renew your body. My thoughts on CBD before before I go into that. Okay, my thoughts on CBD is finding a reputable source. Not only not, I don't approve CBD while pregnant or breastfeeding, but that's your own choice. Um, now let me go back to the miscarriage. So after you went through a miscarriage or an abortion, 
you have to redo the body in a sense of renew it. Your body has not only went through the trauma physically, but emotionally. And a lot of people just don't think that that's connected. But remember that your stomach and your uterus is also connected to your brain. So any hurt there is going to be hurt here. So emotionally, physically, there is a lot that has to be done after a miscarriage and abortion. You have to forgive yourself. You have to renew your mind. You have to renew your body. So I do recommend getting the blood purifier to make sure that your body is completely cleansed after the miscarriage. Taking a bath in the no more anxiety to give yourself an emotional bath. Taking the baby boom to tone and strengthen the uterus and then taking the divine iron to make sure that you have enough life, which is blood and oxygen, and you have enough to give the baby life, which is blood and oxygen. Very, very, very important. Very important. Okay, I've never been pregnant and I want to be a mother so bad. Can someone please help? Okay, so in those situations, especially if you are ordering products from me with no luck, send me a picture Purchase a face reading and send me a picture of you and your husband. That way we can see are there any underlying... Because some people cannot be pregnant because they have been on so many medications that the penis just don't work. That the, the, the lady parts don't work. We cannot feel like we can use artificial stimulating part, I mean medications and think that we're going to be in a position to get pregnant. Like, you have to understand, anytime, hey girl... Anytime you can't get pregnant because, well, anytime his penis won't get hard because he's on medication, how does you would think? How do you think that affects the sperm? So I have to know what medications you on. I have to know if you if you are diabetic because if the kidney and the liver isn't functioning correctly, it can hinder pregnancy. If you have an overgrowth of yeast, it can hinder pregnancy. If you don't have enough iron, it can hinder pregnancy. So you have to make sure all of these things are addressed if you don't get pregnant off one, two, maybe four baby booms. Irregular menstrual cycles, meaning that you're not ovulating like clockwork with the moon, then that would be the baby boom because that would mean that the uterus needs a detox. All right, he's putting up the Overweight but wants to get pregnant. Then start off with a gentle detox package. Because if you're underweight and you're overweight, it's going to be difficult for you to get pregnant. Not impossible. Slightly difficult than a person who just get pregnant like that. This girl love breastfeeding while she just hanging down off me. It's the weirdest thing. That's why y'all could never play my sag and say this baby love him. He has a child and I have peace as I have my period. So you should do a baby boom and a fibroid fighter. If you have um cysts. I, need I hear your recommendation, Divine Iron. Where's that? Should we take that even if our iron has never been low? Absolutely. <clears throat> Remember the body? The body needs 50% more blood, makes 50% more blood when you're pregnant. So you need iron. Iron is the base to everything. How do you make sure to ovulate more than one egg per month? <laughs> well, the babe, the blood purifier, the blood purifier definitely um helps with twins as well as the no more anxiety. What do you sell that helps with pregnancy? I couldn't find a description on the site. Girl, we're gonna get that ghetto this together. I'm sorry. So you would definitely do the uh baby boom. Oh mommy can't walk you right now. Can you give me 10 minutes? Desi poo. Wow. <laughs> hey, I want people to hear that you could talk. Say ball. Say ball. <laughs> yeah, say ball. Don't, don't do me that. Every baby's way parent day. Don't do me that. Don't, don't, don't embarrass me like that. <laughs> say ball. You're down, babe. <laughs> wait, wait. That's the pool. She back. Can you walk her around real quick? That's all the milk she wanted. She must have had blueberries. For anemia, iron, low iron, blood purifier. Yes, do the blood purifier. Herbs for at least foot. So you need the yeast destroyer. Hello, come on. Yeah, Let's so Gabby G, email me the pictures. Email me the pictures. Because I don't know what your underlying issues are. 
My periods are super irregular. I'm anemic, but not due to iron deficiency. What is the best for me? Girl, still the divine iron in the baby room. But what, what do you mean anemic, but not due to iron issues? Wait, I want to see this. Can I do that? Started baby boom a month ago. Periods are normal. This month I didn't get one. Are you pregnant? <laughs> Take a pregnancy test and let me know. Come on, let's go back in. No more time. Hold up. So I gotta. What? You don't want to bring them? Yeah, I will, but I just want you to. How ask. will you know if you got rid of all the fibroids? One has passed. Congratulations, sis. A fibroid passed. Send me pictures. I love it. I ain't grossed out like other people. I love to see that. Um, but anyway, so how many did you have? If you saw one pass, you should have different changes in your body. So your sex should feel different. The area where the fibro was shouldn't be as swollen. You shouldn't have spotting in between your periods. You're going to know. So you know your body best. You're going to know when they're all gone. I ordered the baby boom. I lost a baby in October and I don't think I'm having it. I'm so sorry. I really, really am. So, um, that's the baby boom in the divine iron sis. So what picture? So I have what's called a face reading option on the website. And that means that you can send a picture of your face without any makeup on. You and hubby and I'm going to be able to see where your deficiency lies. Just like people who read the eyes then I can... I can do that just for entertainment purposes. So it's like 30 bucks on my site, but I'm telling you, I get to the base of all of it. I, I'm so whole with it. But um, one of the ladies who I just did like a month ago, she's pregnant right now because she was ordering the wrong thing. Remember, like I said, the body has natural healing mechanisms. But if you put the wrong thing into it, it will not work. You can't be taking a herb for bad bread, <laughs> you know, and, and you, you got a vagina problem. It don't work like that. So we have to make sure, we had one girl who used to hemorrhage, 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 hemorrhage. She ordered the blood purifier. <clears throat> if you hemorrhaging, you need the hemorrhage free so we can stop the blood flow. And then you go back and you get to the right iron. But don't start off hemorrhaging and get the blood purified because as that blood flows and tries to renew itself, you're just going to bleed, 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 bleed. Oh. Anything good for vitamin D? The golden goddess in the sun. Do not sleep on the sun. Hello, is pregnancy possible with two inside 10 years? Girl, you don't want to hear that from me. Everything possible. You Y'all okay. better go see them articles where that woman got pregnant without no tools. Y'all know them old people who used to get pregnant with in their tubes was tired. Yeah, that did happen to one of y'all know. Cause the woman's body always wants to be pregnant. So work. You, you gotta have the me? proper diet. You gotta be on them herbs, work, sis. And I do believe it is very possible. I'm pregnant, low iron and anemia. Okay, sis, you need the divine iron. I'm gonna get them. Very important. You don't have enough iron. You you can start playing with brain health, preterm labor. Very important for erectile dysfunction and depression in men. No more anxiety, sperm vitality. Yes, those are the correct two. Anxiety. No more anxiety. All right, they not flowing. Not eating raw right now. But my period was still very heavy and cloudy with fibro fiber make me eat even more. Not if you get the fibro fiber package. So you could go. Y'all went over. Oh, oh. Um, so not if you get the package because we got the baby boom that balances the hormones, the cramps be gone. And then if you bleed a lot and you on the fibro fiber, you could buy my, you can do the hemorrhage free. Make sure you get the hemorrhage free. Okay, I'm anemic due to a trait. All right, remember everything is passed on genetically information, okay. right? So you're um, anemic due to a trait. All all defective genetic disorders can be dealt with. So you don't have to pass that on to your next child. Can my daughter inbox you? She's trying to conceive. I only accept email, sis, and my email is in my bio. 
Do you drink the blood purifier on your period? Some people it may bleed more, some people it doesn't affect. So if it makes you bleed more, the blood purifier on your period, do not take it while you're menstruating. Just take it after or before. How do I know if my iron low? Well, you're gonna be cold all the time. You're gonna be fiending for ice. Um, <clears throat> a lot of smaller women have low iron. Like you can tell because they're really, 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 really slim. Um, you lose, you start to lose your edges. All well, I'm I'm showing you like this a good example. Well, you know your edges right here. They start to go bald. That's a sign that you have low iron. Um, your your nails cracking off, being brittle is a sign that you have low iron. So once you don't have the proper amount of iron, which means you don't have the proper amount of blood flow, your whole body's gonna start to deteriorate. Okay, how do um how much for the face reading? I believe they're 30, 30 or 35. Yes, your face readings are always on point. Thank you, girl. Okay, okay, I'll be honored. How long should it be before you regulate and get back to ovulation after having a miscarriage? Okay, so everybody is going to be different. Everybody's body is going to be different because everybody has a completely different genetic code. When we were talking about that at the beginning of the live. So be patient with yourself. Um, take your herbs, rest, renew yourself, renew your mind. Drink plenty of water and eat as well as you can. And ovulation, remember, <clears throat> you not ovulating after a miscarriage is the body's way of protecting you. Because it, you, if you hear some people say, after you have a miscarriage, you shouldn't try for a year or two years. Because the body did go through a lot as if it was pregnant. So your body ceasing ovulation is saying, we want to wait. We want to completely heal before we try this again. So your body once again, has healing mechanism and defense mechanisms. Yes. Oh, me and my boyfriend have sickle cell trait and have a baby with sickle cell that, that, wait, sickle trait and have a baby with the disease, what can we take to give our second unborn a better chance? Even you and him and the, the other baby a, a chance. It's still a chance. You can fill the body up with iron sickle cell is just a, a another way for saying you have a huge iron deficiency. You have a lack lack of oxygen flowing correctly into the blood. So you want to make sure you are completely hydrated. You have loads of iron and not the, the formulated peel iron. We talk about iron from herbs, not the things they want to create. And they got all type of shit in the multivitamins, people. Y'all need to say, call these bitches up. What else is in here? Where, where your report at? Mercury, fucking all type of shit. Fish oil, what is you doing? And some of them don't even say vegan. So you got to be really, really careful. And then how... <clears throat> what should I use for endometriosis? The endometriosis eliminator. That's what you can use for endometriosis. And that's why it may be difficult for people with endometriosis to get pregnant. Because that is the layer that the baby implants in. And if that layer of tissue is out of control and growing other places, the baby cannot successfully implant in that layer and grow. I need to um, naturally heal a cough. So anytime you cough, anytime you sneeze, that is the body's way of rejecting something that has went inside your lungs and irritated it or inside the nose and has irritated it. Thus giving your body defense mechanism to shoot it on out or cough it on up. So what's in your lungs? Are you a smoker? <laughs> Is they got some mucus in your lungs? Cause remember every time you smoke, you put oil in the lungs. So you can use the congestion free rub. You can hydrate yourself to the fullest and you can definitely start eating less mucus causing foods. And that will be sugar. I'm listening, I'm crying. What you crying for, girl? I love you. No sound. That must be your phone. What tea helps a person with sleep apnea? So sleep apnea doesn't receive the connection between the brain and the heart to keep pumping. That's why you stop breathing. So with that being said, you will use the pressure control. Why the pressure control? Because it has herbs in it that strengthen the brain, which will give it a better connection between the brain and the heart keeping it flowing at night. 
Lord, please help me. What? I don't know what you had. Hey, what about low progesterone during pregnancy? That was my issue last time. So I have what's called progesterone rising tea, and you would take it up until the week that you miscarry. Say, for instance, you miscarry, you funny. You miscarry that 11 weeks, you would take it at 12 weeks. I hope the baby won't work for me. Definitely. Put the work in and it's going to work. I am curious, is CMOS good or bad? CMOS is excellent. CMOS is excellent. The only reason that I say um, to not do it as much when you're pregnant and breastfeeding because it because it um <clears throat> it suppresses appetite and we don't want to play those games while we're pregnant or nursing and it can overthrow the hormonal thyroid balance but it's still good to take just not as much as a person who wouldn't be um wouldn't be pregnant or nursing so what does the wet wet what are the benefits of the wet wet besides the obvious okay so it, it does it, it still has similar properties to the baby boom tone the uterus detoxifies the uterus strengthens it makes you wet um and get you pregnant <laughs> you know what about utis or bv so bv is the bv package utis is uh either kidney kindness or the urine uh yanni infection wipeout how about getting rid of fibroids, the fibroid fighter package? For block tubes and scarring, what about, what should my friend take? Always the fibroid fighter for scar tissue or anything that's trapped in the tubes. Can you drink the blood fever powder in your period or will it make you bleed more? I answered that, but I'll, I'll say it again. So you can take it on your period if it doesn't affect you bleeding more. If it does, then don't take it. My tubes are completely blocked and I have dryness issues. Baby boom, wet, wet, and fibroid fighter. <clears throat> I have had a UF and fibroids are just sitting in me. Will the fibroid fighter still work for me? I, you know, legally I can't say it's going to work and do this. What type of pampers do you use for divine? So right now she just wears her drawers because she's potty trained. But I use when she was, um, what do you suggest for her? Okay. So, oh, for that? the two days after ovulation progesterone rising and baby boom so back to the pamper thing my friend only has two eggs fuck it's going so fast i can't see what do you remember for dog spots and acne on the face blood purified sunshine skin glow and face mask um so for the diapers i use cloth diapers because i don't play no fucking chemicals no if, i'm not like fussing at you but i get very upset i don't play that shit i get so annoyed when people come around me about to email you and you probably blew your mind Girl, give me that review, girl. Okay. <laughs> Love it. Congratulations. Oh, it's going to blow my mind. No. She said she's going to send me a review that's going to blow my mind. I love it. I want to see how far I could go. How far we could go. Because I'm just providing the medicine, right? You taking it yourself. You taking that initiative to heal your own self. Thank you, girl. What should I give my friend that's going through a miscarriage to regulate her hormones? Ooh, sorry. Blood purifying and baby boom. Once I started taking the divine iron, I don't have the craving anymore. Yay, because your iron going up, girl. I was diagnosed with end I don't know how to pronounce it, and fluid in both tools. What can I use? Baby boom and fibroid fighter. I need a face reading ASAP when you get, when can I get one? Go order it on the site. And as soon as you order it, you send me pictures to my email and I get to it within 48 hours. What's good for adrenaline glands? So adrenaline glands, that would be the uh, golden goddess. Yes, touch on CMOS and where to get it. Too many people. I I'm going to post at the bottom three places where I think it's good to get CMOS. I don't know why my issue is and why I can't get pregnant. My stomach is the size of a three and maybe four month pregnant woman. And I've been to the doctor asking why it's so swollen. So you don't have fibroids? That's very interesting that they can't help you and also not surprising. Okay, so what in that case, I would start off with the vanished cravings. I mean, the gentle detox package and then the baby boom. Low iron, I have shortness of breath quickly and heartbeats fast. Had to go to a blood friendship. Divine iron, divine iron. I have most of those symptoms but always had an average iron. Remember, when they give a generic test, we're all genetically different. We're all genetically different. So if you get a test that's based off the Caucasian people, and nothing's wrong with Caucasian people, but I'm saying the average test 
for the American people is based off Caucasians levels. So say I'm a melanated woman, I'm a Chinese woman, I'm a Hispanic woman. If I go and get the, uh, the iron test for a Caucasian woman, my levels are never going to be accurate. You have to listen to your body. You have to. If I name most of the symptoms you have, and you know for sure something can't be right because your iron, just like the sperm test. I had a situation where the woman, you know, I could feel, I could sense who could have babies and who would have a hard time and who just completely needs a whole fast. So I'm on the phone with her and I'm picking her up. I'm sensing her. I'm like, mm, problem not you. Let's talk about hubby. She was like, oh, it's so funny you would say that, blah, 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 you know, but I got him a, a, a sperm test and it, it was fine. They say his sperm count not low. Now, mind you, she said that she would suck his weenie and no nut would come in her mouth. He would say he came and it would be like one or two drops. Now, say, fuck, fuck they test. What you think? If she could suck his pooty booty and nothing comes in her mouth. Then she told me he smokes seven blunts a day and what he masturbates every morning. I said, baby, he don't got no sperm to give you. They ain't got a motherfucking thing that he's shooting blanks if he even shooting any fucking thing. But the sperm count, the sperm test said it was okay. <laughs> I'm like, I, I said, girl, this lets you know to be afraid. So that's <laughs> the point I'm making is that test is a basis for one specific genetic group of people. So when we overall do that, it does not work universal like that. This is why in these times, it is imperative to know who you are, to know your body, even to know your blood type. Go in and get the little, I wouldn't, go, go, they got kits online. Also, I'm going to post the link to kits that you can get to do your blood test. And that way you can have a better idea of what you, what things don't serve your body. What things you shouldn't be eating? What are the most beneficial to your body? Keeping it nature bound by combining the, the blood uh, food diet along with the alkaline diet and you'll be unstoppable, okay? Along with your herbs and stuff, your water. So we have to keep all this in mind. Stop just being generic and eating everybody food and everybody health. You're not the same and you're going to die for it. They're going to be fine eating their soybeans and eating their diet. And you're gonna you're gonna perish because it's not made for you. It's not. My son, how soon shall I wait after getting a tuber reversal to try and conceive? Girl, jump on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Girl, get it. Get it. You got the tubes undone. Get it. Jump on it. Okay, now, not tomorrow, now, not later. Okay. <laughs> Girl. Mother has hepatitis C. What tea does she need? The blood purifier. How do you um, feel about CBD? It's just not the same. Unless it's ancient, you know, and it's from a reputable source. I don't really fuck with it. I don't fuck with nothing that I feel like. I don't even eat apples. Apples have been tainted. I don't give a fuck with nobody say. They don't taste the same. They don't smell the same. Them motherfuckers don't even look the same. Okay? I don't give a fuck if they're organic. If a nigga told me they fell out the sky, I do not fuck with apples. There is something inside me that tells me something is very strange about these new fucking apples. And then Eve bit the fucking apple. And apple products have the off-bitten apple. I ain't fucking with no apples. I'm just not. So, that's just where I be with it. Some things we could still say isn't a good, but if I feel like it's been too tainted, I don't fuck with it. And that's exactly how I feel about CBD. So if you can find a reputable source and, you know, you feel like this is great CBD, then you go for it. But I, I don't fuck with it. Just like <clears throat> when I got conscious, I would still smoke weed. But now I won't even touch that shit. Not to mention you shouldn't be smoking anything religiously. We don't even smoke in a sacred way no more to like open it or our fucking mind to think beyond. You know, when you get high and you used to talk to that fucking tree and you could have swore that bitch was talking to you, it was. <laughs> that was what you would use it for. So what I'm saying now, I won't even, I won't even. Nope, I won't even say, y'all yeah, know how much I want to smoke a fucking blunt loud, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ, but nope. What are your thoughts about chemotherapy and infertility? Is there a link? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is just for my entertainment purposes because you are nuking. For instance, when you drop a bomb on another country, that soil is thus now radiated. 
So things never grow again. So I'm not saying nothing's ever going to grow in your uterus again. But I'm saying they set the base for a dead land by killing everything you had. So in that sense, you have to renew it like a garden. The radiated soil got to get up out that bitch and you got to renew it. Putting organic soil, putting papaya um, flesh back into the earth, putting all kind of, just renewing it. So you have to do the baby boom, the blood purifier, the golden goddess. You got to drink plenty of water. You got to eat healthy. You got to renew yourself. Mucus production is normal. Some herbs may cause your body to detox and overgrowth the mucus. Mucus is fine. It is the overgrowth of mucus that is the problem. This is why your nose gets stopped up. Because the body is trying to defend itself and thus it makes more mucus. And now you have an overproduction of mucus. Mucus covers everything. Which is great for everything to slip and slide the way it should be. Mucus membranes. It's the overproduction. You cannot eat mucus causing, mucus causing, mucus causing foods. Then you have a problem. There's a balance to everything. And that's what the body has. How soon clogging and ringing in the ears. Okay. So for that, you can do independently mulling. Which is great for that. Even if you have a headache, you can make mullein oil and stick it right up in your ear. Stop, drop it, earaches, all that. Spring water or distilled? So I would have to go with spring. Can you answer my questions? Yeah, because of course, Kanisha, I'm just purposely ignoring you, nigga. I could have, I, I answered that. I answered your question. You asked me was CMOS good or bad? I said it was excellent. I said you just shouldn't do too much if you're pregnant. Or you're nursing and then I named why. I answered that. I love you. I ain't mad at you, but, you know, I'm just saying. Like, I answered it already. <laughs> I answered you, baby. I love you. You've been, you've been my friend for a long time. What about constantly having BV? It could be your partner. It could be the things you're eating. So, you got to do... If you got chronic BV, you're going to need two packages. Don't think you can get one package that's going to wipe all that out that cat. <laughs> if it's chronic... You're going to need it at least twice. And you're going to have to put this man on something. Because he's throwing it off. Check your soap you're using. Stop sticking stuff in your cootie. Be wise as to what you're putting in your mouth. Mm. Okay, any help for people with PMDD? I don't know what that is. You would have to tell me exactly what it is because I'm I try my best to stay away from all the medical terms. So ooh. So your friend who had the stroke, Jessica, that's a renewal of the nervous system and body. So he's gonna have to do the no more anxiety, blood purifying, and golden goddess. Because the body has to be renewed. Remember, the body makes everything it needs already to renew itself. But thus you have a stroke. I ain't mean it like that. You know, I'm just like saying it. And then you start drinking all-purpose Lysol. It's just more damage on more damage instead of drinking water or eating fruit or eating the right things. You just continue to keep the damage stagnant or making it even worse. Not to mention if you go get mercury injections after. Let's see, what makes you feel dehydrated? Absolutely being dehydrated. That's the only way you can actually feel dehydrated is if you're dehydrated. And then remember, the kidneys have to be in a good point to even digest the water. And you know what? I went to sleep like 1 o'clock last night answering emails. And I am so fucking tired. Lord. But anyway, you're welcome, Kanisha. You my girl. I wasn't being ratchet with your butt. <laughs> I'm tired. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting a little tired now. I hope I get some good rest tonight. I'm emailing you and purchasing a lot. Thank you for giving me life. Girl, I love you. I don't, I don't, it make me feel weird. You, you, mm, okay, mm, I love y'all. <laughs> Do you still put elderberries in the golden goddess? Yes. But please know that since the flannemic, damic, everybody thought elderberry was the go-to herb, which is so weird. I swear. It had to be amateur, like herbless. And I'm not dogging them out because we all start off at am amateurs at one point. But when you was thinking of like antiviral and, and lung health and immunity, 
elderberry is like, you know, you got you got different seeds. You got the big boy herbs. You got the medium big boys. And then you got the little, you know. And elder, elderberry would have been the medium big boys. But not for this situation. Not for something that they was like, ooh, you could just drop dead and all that. You, you would have to bring the big guns out. You feel me? And people were saying elderberry. And I'm like, mm, okay. So they just bought it all up and not elderberry like $35 a pound. So in order for me not to have to raise your prices up, I could always substitute elderberry for a herb that does exactly the same thing. So that's maybe why you don't see it as much. Especially my pregnant woman, I got y'all. I'm going to hook. Listen, Divine is so smart. I'm going to make sure that we have genius babies. You don't got to worry about that at all. What I put in them golden goddess is going to make that brain of amazing what do you use on your hair i have very dry 4c hair that's cool and it's still so beautiful but you know what i did i did the prosperity test look up the prosperity test you know if you have the open cuticles closed cuticle all that and i use my hair butter i use my hair butter that i made it's it's actually in the shower right now oh lord i'm getting tired desi i'm getting tired and i'm a little hungry but I don't really want to eat. I had, I use my stuff. See, this is my this is my shower right here, and this this is my stuff. So yeah, I use this in here. But that's what I use. <laughs> what is a good thing? Should I be worried? Should I discontinue you, huh? But you were replying to somebody, so I have no idea what you're saying. How do I get package? www.elkalangaddis.com Where should CMO gel look like? Okay, so I guess I gotta do a live on CMOS. That's, I'm, I'm gonna just have to do a live on CMOS. Can I take the CMOS if you're allergic to seafood? Yes. In most cases. So take a little bit to see how you react. But in most cases, people who have a, um, an allergy to seafood do not have an allergy to seaweed. Two different completely components. All right, I want to see my baby. I had a partial hysterectomy. How do I get my body back chemically balanced? So you want to hydrate, good food, and the baby boom works if you had a hysterectomy, partial hysterectomy, tubes tied, whatever. How can I, what can I take to just have a healthy lifestyle, not trying to get pregnant? Blood purifier, gentle detox, golden goddess, but remember, anything that caters to renewing your body is also going to try to give you life. Because a part of renewing yourself is, you know, having, giving another life. <laughs> so, what about prenatal when trying? Prenatal pills are trash whether you're trying or pregnant. So, definitely do your herbs, sis. Can I take the baby boom tea and the lotion at the same time? Yes, you can. Do you recommend fasting before trying the herbs? Here's what I don't recommend. Fasting, you don't have no iron and you're already in a bad space and you try to fast. You can hurt yourself more than help yourself because if you're already deficient in most of these things, you're going to just keep depleting yourself. The, the best thing that I can say to people who's not used to fasting is to do an herbal fast. That way, you are helping the body. You're putting in minerals. You're putting in nutrients. You're helping to detox the body. And you don't just pass the fuck out because, you know, you're depleting yourself. You don't really have time to rest. Please do herbal fast when you are not used to fasting. Please, please, please. I love you. See, I love you too. I have a few of my fibroids have come back since having surgery. You emailed me today. I swear you emailed me today. Or no. Or you put that on your order note because you order from me. Yeah, you put that exact. That is you. So basically, the fibroid fight is where you start. You ordered the correct thing, sis. Anything. What? To keep the fibroids away, you're going to have to stay away from seafood, hair dyes, makeup with mercury, all of those things. That's high estrogen dominance, dandruff, itchy, <laughs> itchy scalp, and hair growth. Yeast destroyer. Yeast destroyer for the dandruff. 
in the itchy scalp because that's just that's just mushrooms growing all over and hair growth will be the hair oil or the feed me hair butter and what helps to get you pregnant baby boom how can i increase the chances of triplets i know girl you'll be the first one to give me triplets oh my so i feel as though the no more anxiety and the blood purifying the baby boom plus is making people hyper ovulate causing to get them twins so go for it my girl go for it go for it. tips for preterm labor and cervical insufficiency you want to do kegels look and see what kegels are you want to yanni steam all my teas can be used as a steam all of them except for the blood purifying and divine iron you want to build up the cervix baby boom divine iron all of these things that will strengthen your cervix a daughter gets bad burrows under her arm every month when it's her time for her cycle. This means that the blood is dirty. So you want to get her the blood purifier and sunshine skin grow the R fibra fighter. That's what I have. Been. What should I do? Pistol. Do you have any aphrodisiac? Somebody better tell her about that wet wet. <laughs> yes, baby. I have the wet, wet in the sperm vitality. You mentioned about someone with two eggs for ovulation. What do you suggest? I just answered that. Let me see. Hey, I miss seeing you. Sis. I miss y'all too. I got so much to do. Can I use the um alopecia? What can I use for alopecia? The uh, feed me hair oil and the uh, butter. Do you do face readings for mother and baby? Absolutely. Absolutely. I do babies all the time. And for babies, I would like to see their tummy. You know, cover them up, but I want to see their tummy. Tummies tell me a lot on babies. Does fibro fighter help with destroyed tools because of endometriosis? Yes. And you also know, because the fibro fighter actually helps with endometriosis too. Oh, my God. My, fr oh, my friend has only two eggs, one sack. How possible is her for her to get pregnant? Yes, girl. See, remember I keep saying the body is renewing. She can renew her body and renew those eggs and help with egg production and quality. The baby boom and blood purifier. I've been watching you and it's something that's keeping me here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> I carry low on all of my pregnancies. I had tied my tubes and it's been like 14, 15 years. You think I can still get pregnant? You know what this? I wish that I could take y'all and love y'all, okay? And y'all could come here and I would be on you niggas. Cause see, <laughs> that's me be laughing, but I'm, that must be the Capricorn in me. I'm such a perfectionist. That's why it murders me slowly that we just fall behind and I can't be like, mm. Your order's on your way, hun. It left already. Like, oh, okay. I love it. I would love to be like that. I can't wait. But anyway, I would love to feed. I want to show y'all. I want to change the world. You can definitely do this, sis. You got to do a little fasting, drink your water, drink your teas, eat right, and, and command your body. Remember, see, I can't get this spiritual with y'all. Your body is listening. Okay? Listening. That's why they say you're supposed to whisper in your children's ear at night everything great about them and if it's something you feel you you could even whisper i don't pee in the bed anymore i don't pee in the bed anymore and their mind picks that up and then it makes an exchange a cellular exchange an information exchange a blood exchange you can do anything you want to do yes it is possible talk to that belly we're going to get pregnant. My tubes are going to be restored. I can't really get that spiritual with y'all because I don't think that y'all see me that way. But it is possible. Even if you have a child that is being like disobedient, whisper in their ear at night. You can command the body to do anything. It is yours. You make it walk, talk, shit, poop, you know. Hey, mom. I got to stop cursing, girl. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Well, I love you guys. But, like, I miss Divine, and I got to go. Like, I really miss her. So, they can't see you, baby. No. So, I appreciate y'all. I feel like this live was very excellent. I'm up to date on emails. I will be checking them tonight between 7 and 9. Tired as a mug. But, 
You'll get your response. Double check because a lot of people say they're not getting it. And I've been working all this hard and you're not getting it. I don't know. And um, also, what I wanted to say, we're we working hard every day. We're getting packages out every day. Whether it be 20, 50, a million, we're getting them out every single day. So we are working endlessly. My mother, I love you, mom, once again. My awesome daughter, my thinker, oh, my nigga, what would I do without you, girl? <laughs> she you. is amazing. I, girl, what would I do without this girl? My my rock, my stone. I be too emotional lately, but you all, you all, you are everything to me. I wouldn't have asked for nothing better. I'm telling you. you I'm serious. You have turned out to be amazing. And such a, a gem in your time. You gonna know about herbs. You're going to know how to deliver babies. And and you talk about a time where most children your age don't know nothing about that. And you vegan, all your friends eating at McDonald's and shit. I'm really impressed. And I really love you so much. And you you mean you can have anything you want, girl. If I can afford it, okay. And I love you, girl. But anyway, so... I, come on, we get on a fucking tangent. Oh, girl, you're so sweet. Okay, all right. So I love y'all. We working hard, okay? <laughs> and I need to go talk to, um, what's her face? <laughs> Oops, <laughs> divine. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, I love her too. But I forgot for a second because I'm getting a little hungry too. But all right, love y'all. And I got to go. Great live. See ya. I probably won't be able to see y'all until I guess Saturday. So, okay, bye, baby. <laughs> you can press in for me.